High school's final career home game for Aaron Kraft before he becomes a Buckeye. Right now he's playing at Liberty Benton, of course, and since he's a point guard, he's thinking pass first to Zach Jones, makes it 5 nothing. Three minutes left in the first, though. Kraft goes into shooting mode, and he does have range. He makes it 8 nothing there, and then less than a minute after that, it's Kraft again. Quick release. The Rifleman, he had 25 points, almost outscored Bluffton on his own. Liberty Benton wins 73-26. to Over at Whitmer, Panthers hosted, hosted Southview. Kenny Hayes, a little rough on the intro there. Probably not what he intended. But during the game, Kenny Hayes was pretty smooth. He gets the pass and the easy bucket inside. Whitmer up five. Then it's his brother's turn. Nigel Hayes with the easy hoop going baseline. 13-7 Panthers. Back to Kenny. He had 17 points for the night. Gets the rebound and the hoop. He just wants it a little bit more. Whitmer up eight points. Final score, they beat Southview 59-43. Girls basketball, the weight ladies and the newest McDonald's All-American there, Natasha Howard. They're going against one of the best teams in the nation, Detroit Country Day. And Howard would have to go against Madison Williams, future Michigan State Spartan. And Howard getting the better of her early on. Then it's Cynthia Piscina's turn. She gets the ball inside for the lane, but it wouldn't be enough. Detroit Country Day beats weight 72-56.